If there's one industry that needs to have a clearly laid out safety plan on how it communicates to the public, it is the nuclear power industry. And today, the experts tasked with communicating safety plans to the public updated how they relay critical information to people who live close to Browns Ferry. News 19's Greg Screws joining us now in the studio with more on just how they do that. One of the ways is with a calendar, and you Absolutely. happen to have one handy. Just right here, I just happen to have one. So it's a calendar, it's your basic looking calendar. Uh, it's a bit of a traditional calendar. You see it's got the pretty pictures there, but it also has, it has some important cards and you can just rip them right out. The card says I need to be notified in case of an emergency. So there are two cards, one in English, one in Spanish. You just fill it out, you mail it back. It's also loaded with information like evacuation routes and how to get help during an emergency. It's just one example of what Brown Ferry works on year round to keep residents close to them safe. So we've got a couple of rods that are positioned at position eight and a couple of rods that are positioned at position 12. What are the streams of information flow that occur in a structured manner when we, we do have an event, when we do have to go into the emergency plan? And there are different quadrants, different sections, different zones labeled on that map. That plan, while it is always subject to review and fine tuning, has to be ready 24 7 in case the unthinkable happens and you have to warn miles and miles of communities and subdivisions. We follow a process. We're able to leverage you all in the communication, as was mentioned earlier, but also over communicate. At the right time, over communicate while we're in practice mode. That plan that is at the same time sharpened, evaluated, and possibly implemented in the brain center of a place like Browns Ferry can be as simple as an arrow that points the way out. The calendars on the wall are a tradition for residents, just like putting their kid's picture on the refrigerator. The train of thought here is the plan has to lean forward. It has to be proactive, and it has to be a situation where transparency generates trust. Informing people who have questions with facts, with transparency, with an abundance of information of how we do business, and answering the questions on what if this happens. Communicating that in a consistent manner, not in response to an event, but proactively is the way we're going to help inform those individuals that have a question. Brown's very senior vice president Manu Sivaraman says as the world moves to a carbon free emissions environment, nuclear power is critical to meet all those goals.